Hello guys, my name is Akhil M and welcome back to another video of the TechSavior. So guys, this is kind of a fifth installment on the topic uh, basics of Flutter. Uh, we started uh, the whole video series by creating first creating the app bar, then we created an action buttons and then we created this drawer and uh, in the last video I created an circular avatar at the body of the scaffold. So guys, today uh, we are covering an another different topic. Today we are going to see how we can make a container clickable. So normally we have buttons which are clickable on the flutter. But if you want, uh, you can make a container clickable. So we are going to look today how to make a container clickable. In order to do that, we are going to use a function known as inkwell. And I will be showing you how to do every process uh, from the start to finish. So as normal, we are going to leave the container on the board of the scaffold. So call the body uh, parameter inside the scaffold. Then um, if you call the container from here itself, uh, the container is going to take the whole, uh, this whole scaffold area will be taken by the container itself. And uh, I will show you how to, how the container will leave at the moment. So if I make the container now and also leave the decoration. Uh, you don't need to give the box decoration. I'm just gonna leave it so that I can color the. Once again, guys. So, if I think, as you can see, the container took the whole scaffold area, leaving uh, no other space for any of those, any of the other items uh, you need to install inside the scaffold area. So uh, you can't actually give uh, the container has an whole child of the body, you know, if you want to do so, if you want to control the size of the container, you have to call in an another function known as um, uh, sized box. Sized box help us to uh, just control the area of the container. So uh, simply click on the container, then click on this uh, button and uh, take the option wrap with a, with a widget. So in the widget column, leave it as an uh, sized box sorry and uh, now you can actually can't actually see any of the difference uh, because we haven't given any parameter towards the sized box the sized box takes two parameters which is the height and the width that you are to get so if I leave the height, uh, let us take the parameter height and I will leave it as an something like an uh, 170 or so. As you can see, the height of the container has been decre uh, decreased. Now the container is now taking the whole area of the scaffold body. And uh, the another parameter with which the sized box take is uh, as usual the width, uh, sorry, width and leave the width at uh, something like an 180 or so. And now we have an container and now I'm gonna make this container clickable as I said in the first uh, as I said in the first you know to make the container clickable you have to use a function uh, known as uh, inkwell inkwell help us to make a container clickable now at the moment this container is not clickable we can't uh, click on these and uh, it won't navigate towards anywhere so as a normal uh, we have to wrap this container with an another widget and that widget will be the inkwell so click on the container click on this uh, sorry click on this bulb icon then take the option wrap with the, with the widget and uh, in that widget area give it is as the ink it is known as inkwell this inkwell help us to make and container clickable so currently uh, i will show you how to, uh, these these are going first we declare the sized box which help us to size this container inside the child of the sized box is the inkwell the inkwell help us to uh, make a container clickable and the child of the inkwell is our actual container so the actual container is the child of the inkwell and inkwell is the child of the sized box so that's how the tree goes on and um, now it is a matter of seconds uh, before us making this uh, a clickable container. So inside the uh, inkwell function, we can uh, type in a parameter known as ontap. 
so on tap makes uh, takes a parameter sorry takes a condition uh, what it should do when someone taps on that container so leave it as a function and open a function body and um, uh, leave the navigation function here so I have an uh, I have already made a page known as success just to show you what will happen when you click uh, something like this I have already made that page uh, just for sake of this video now if you want uh, something to some kind of a text or something to be shown inside the container uh, let us say uh, you want to show in a, a text saying that click here so go into the container inside the container folder uh, leave the child uh, let it be the text and uh, I will leave it as a click here and the click here has been appeared out here but uh, as you can see it is not at the center of the uh, container if you want a uh, text to be at the center of the container you have to again wrap this with an another widget so uh, place your cursor on the text and uh, press on the bulb and wrap with a widget now this time we are going to use a widget known as align align help us to alignment uh, these test uh, text things and the alignment align takes one parameter known as alignment and again an alignment uh, function also inside that so here x is the uh, horizontal and y is the vertical so x value means horizontally and y value means vertically so if you have, uh, i want to show it on the center so i will leave it as a 0 0.1 on the x uh, and uh, maybe a 0 0.1 on the y2 and okay I, that's kind of out of element but uh, I will deal with those so that's how you can make or an align and text inside a container if you require to do so so that's it guys uh, we have made this container actually clickable within these steps and now I press this uh, it just shows us an thing which says success I haven't made even a scaffold for those pages so that's why it is just saying it as a success so that's how you can make a container clickable if you like uh, these kind of videos please try to subscribe the channel I am making a lot of videos on the basics of the flutter also leave a uh, comment down below if you have any kind of do uh, doubts or anything and um, uh, leave a like uh, down below if you like the video have a nice day thank you